Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Josh here, welcome back to a Fishing Adventures. We are out here today in Oweicha Lake, and we're going to be going after some walleye. Um, I'm with Rick from the Fishing Hall. He's uh, he's the walleye guru. He's going to be showing me the ropes today. Uh, the plan is to be fishing in about six to ten feet of water. Going to be pulling blades with either leeches or night crawlers. Not sure yet. Um, it's a beautiful day out right now. Once again, no wind, sunny. Can't ask for anything better. Uh, stay tuned, and hopefully we get on them. There he is. You ready to catch some walleye or what? <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Oh, you can see the rocks. Yeah. This is a big wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah there it is. There it is. Right on. Woo. Nice wall. Yeah, I buddy. got your rod. Nice wall. Nice. In our the most random spot, too, eh? Yeah. We're not expecting that. Crawler. Look at that. <laughs> Not a bad fish. That is awesome. Black gold. Black gold. Nice wally. Cool. Awesome, buddy. Where do you go? Right Check out the inches on this one. Turn it the other way. Why he's got a spine. 20, 22. 22 incher. That's awesome. Nice cool. Fish. Turn it on and get a release of it. Yeah, exactly. Water. All right, guys. First wall of day, not bad, 22 inches. Awesome fish. We're gonna go back and uh, give her a release. Woo! Dang it, that's a spare. We were just hitting that boulder. This is exactly where we were. So there's those two boulders. Yeah. I've still yet to catch a walleye. We got a whole bunch of hammer handles. Not so much fun, but Rick's got the nice, nicest walleye in the board right now, 22 inches. I'm just sticking to a leech right now. Um, he actually got yours in the night crawler, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're gonna keep trolling. I've been trying to keep around eight to ten feet. I can actually see the water's actually pretty clear here. You can actually see the boulders in the water. So and that's usually where I'm getting snagged as usual. So uh, stay tuned and uh, wish us luck. Hooked up again. Nice wally. Yeah, there we go. I guess that, we'll take uh, it. My favorite old color is working yeah, for you. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. A little uh, orange chartreuse. Yeah. Rigs custom made by Rick himself. Okay, bud. Boom. That's the killer today. Go. Cool. Awesome. That's another pass. Another pass, another fish. Make sure this one is within regulation size. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, stop it. For sure. Yeah. Whew. 16. Nice. We're gonna be cooking, cooking some fish, putting some food on the table once again, ladies and gents. Give me some knuckles, Rick. Right on, buddy. Boom. Oh, nice walleye, nice walleye. I'm gonna hit him side. Yeah. Nice fish. Thank you. Would he pop off too? Don't hook me, bud. There we go. 19 and a half. Still too big. Alrighty guys, little uh, midday update. It is 11.30. 
we're up to four walleye. Um, definitely think they're quite a bit deeper. They're not quite a bit, but three, four feet deeper. The weeds have really grown in, in this lake. Uh, Rick was fishing this body of water about two weeks ago, and uh, he was fishing what seven, eight feet of water. Yeah. And uh, they were slamming them, but everywhere it's been seven, eight feet of water. Uh, it's been a whole bunch of weeds, a whole bunch of cabbage. So we're getting more bites out deeper. So we're fishing about twelve feet now. And uh, past two passes, we've gotten a walleye in each pass. So hoping on this one we'll get another one. So stay tuned. Okay, bud. I want you to chill out. I'm gonna release you. You're not a keeper. We were just uh, reeling rigs. Oh, yeah, it's a walleye, too. Small one. Uh, there we go. Boom. Right off that ledge, just like we said. That is awesome. All right guys, I'm gonna explain what happened right up up there. Um, we're just going over this little little reef, or even ledge if you wanna call it, I don't know if you can see this on the sonar, but we're just going over there. And Rick hooked into one, we're like, man, we're definitely gonna get one on here. The guru himself, he called it, he got one. And as we're kind of pulling his out of the water, look over my rod here, dunk, my rod tips start going, I set the hook and I get a small one, but a uh, double header. Um, we got to keep, no, one was too big, one was too small, so. Um, we're gonna go back and hit that ledge and hopefully get a bigger one. Yeah, right. back out. Didn't have any recording right now. Josh actually hooked into this wall. I haven't measured it yet, but beautiful looking fish. Get a measure before he goes over. Okay. Come on. What's up ladies and gents, we're back here at the boat launch, it was a pretty good day, I had a lot of fun, we got some decent walleye, wasn't as good as Rick wanted it to be, but hey, I wasn't complaining, it was uh, good for me, not the best for him I guess. Um, one of the tools in our toolbox today was the maps from Hummingbird Chart Select, so I'm going to show you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see these at all, and around there, all our waypoints and such, but anyway, they absolutely helped us locate the fish today. Um, all the rock points and a lot of these lakes in white shell are super detailed, fine lines, one foot increments. You can change the depth offset so the actual water is actually two feet lower than it usually is. So we're able to change that so all the map changes to two feet lower. Um, it really helped us find the points and we went over and over again. We marked our spots and we went back to them and we were pretty consistent. So awesome piece of mapping. It's like $13 a lake, so like the cost of breakfast going out fishing. So, and you can actually get it on your phone too, which is awesome. It's a free app and you just download the actual map after you buy it and you're good to go. Um, but thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll be bassing. Stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.